It's my pleasure to introduce the first soloist on this program, one of the two winners of the Delaware County Symphony's 2014 Youth Competition, 17-year-old flutist Nicole Ozdowski. Congratulations on winning the competition, Nicole. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is not the first competition you've won, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> what other competitions have you won? Well, I started competing as a sixth grader, and I won the Tri-County Youth Festival's um, Junior Wins Division and I went on and competed in the Flute Society of Great Philadelphia soloist competitions. Um, like Jason, who you'll be interviewing next, I made it to the final round of the Greenfield competition this year, and I was in the senior wins division, and along with that, I played with the Rose Street Pops for their soloist competition, and it's been a long time <laughs> since I started competing. <laughs> when and where is your next competition? Oh, when and where? I think I, since I'm a senior in high school, I finished competing for my high school career, and I'll be playing with Kennett Symphony in August at Longwood Gardens, but that will be my last concert for the year. What piece are you playing there? There I'm playing um, Carmen Fantasy, which I competed with for this competition. After you graduate high school, do you plan to continue your studies at a conservatory? I will not be studying at a conservatory, but I will be going to a college and I'll be going to Princeton University to, um, I think, study physics, but I'm hoping to be involved in the orchestra. I'm sure they'll be lucky to have you. I'm, I'm honored to be going. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do you spend practicing the flute now? Um, now, on the weekdays, I usually try to squeeze in an hour to practice um, besides homework. On the weekends, I try to get in about three to four hours. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose the flute as your instrument? Well, in elementary school, in music class, we had to go through a list of wind instruments. So our teacher told us, this is a clarinet, this is a flute. And I thought the flute was the prettiest instrument. And I <laughs> wanted to play the flute ever since I was little. And when I finally got the opportunity to play in band, I chose the flute. <laughs> um, if you had a gold flute, it'd be even prettier, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, it'd be so sparkly. <laughs> <laughs> does a gold flute have a different tone quality? It does. It does. Actually, I prefer a silver flute because I like the warm tone that it gives when I play. So the flute that I have right now is silver. And a gold flute gives a harsher tone? Um, not, not harsher. It's a, beautiful, it's a beautiful tone, but for me, it's just... I guess it sounds more metallic, in my opinion. I, I don't know. It's just an odd preference. It's probably familiarity. I've been used to playing a silver flute for so long. I prefer it. Yeah, everyone, everyone's body type and everyone's technique fits better with different kinds of instruments. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. On this concert, you'll be paying, playing the poem by Charles Griffiths. Yes. Um, what do you like the best about this piece? Hmm. I think the part that I like the best is it's like a conversation between the flute and the orchestra. The orchestra gives, I take, I give, and the orchestra takes. It just goes back and forth. And it's fun to play with the orchestra. The piece itself, it's sober, but putting the piece together with the orchestra is very rewarding because the end, the end result is beautiful. Mm -hmm. What do you find to be the most difficult part about playing this piece? Hmm. Probably my favorite part of the piece is the most difficult part <laughs> of the piece because sometimes yeah. the tempo, it's just not something that you can set as one, two, three, four mm -hmm. because the piece itself is so fluid, conversing with the orchestra and communicating and keeping that same universe is sometimes very difficult. I would imagine so. Yeah. But it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking forward to enjoying your performance. Thank you very much for speaking with us, Nicole. Thank you. <laughs>